What's up guys? I think I'm back. I think. Eight months later, I haven't picked up the camera, I haven't done anything. And I feel like it's kind of the right time for me mentally to start making videos again. I'm still in South Africa. Yes, I'm still here. Um, I'm back in my old shitty garage from seven years ago. The house is officially sold. It only just recently sold. I handed over the keys like two weeks ago. Um, yeah, it just took forever. So we're still in the country. Uh, we're going to let my daughter finish the school year here because we're already quite late in the year. Let her finish and then we're out of here. Okay, just a quick recap. If you guys don't remember, I bought this car in November 2021 uh, from somebody out here already who was a subscriber on the channel. Um, I had seen this car previously on the roads in my area and I was like, I really miss having a GC8. I, I hadn't had a GC8 in like, I don't know, 20, 2011 probably was, or 2010 was the last time I had a G, GC8. And I've had a couple of these before and, and I kind of just feel like I never did really did them any justice and I didn't really appreciate them back then I kept just turning cars and I really wish I had another one and then I saw this car for sale and I had pretty much just sold all of my JDM cars at the time so I figured I need something to keep me busy so I bought this and damn it's been keeping me busy holy crap so uh, we just driving around now I'm warming up the car I'm gonna take it onto the, the freeway or the highway if you're from America and uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about the area that I stay in and I'm also kind of doing these videos now I'm gonna obviously get some seat time now driving the car but I'm also doing these videos now so I can kind of remember because I am gonna leave we're gonna leave in a couple months for whatever five months and I need to remember where I came from, who I am, etc. So I've been here for 38 years. This is my life, and it's sad to see it all go. Anyway, this car has kept me damn busy. Um, like I said, we've got all these cool little interior toys. It's very subtle stuff that I've been throwing at the car. Nobody really knows where I'm going yet. I haven't actually mentioned the exact whereabouts of where I'm going, but um, what I have been worried about really is that it's a new country you know the laws might be different so I don't want to go crazy and do like I don't know all sorts of exterior modifications and then crazy engine bay mods and like you know cool stuff and then find out oh well it's illegal to do that or whatever so I'm trying to get the car as stock as possible I even picked up stock wheels I picked up uh, stock 16s that come for this car. Funny enough, they actually belong to this car. Like, mind blowing. Um, they were the original wheels from this car. Anyway, I've got the original 16s. I've got um, the engine bay is pretty much stock. There is a bigger turbo. I had a 20G when I first bought the car. It had vertical play on it. Wasn't happy with that, so I swapped it out. And I've now got this VF35 in the car. VF35 came off a 2005 STI. Um, 2005 in South Africa was still a blob eye. So 2005 had the VF35, 2006 onward in South Africa had, and I think Australia was the same, uh, was the Hawker and that was a VF43. I didn't want that turbo. Honestly, I was actually on the hunt for a VF34 from like a 0203. Couldn't get it. And uh, that's ball bearing, that's why I wanted it. do want to talk about is that this is the second engine rebuild since I got the car. So when I first got the car it had it had this super lumpy idle and uh, the mechanic at the time he he said okay look it's uh, cylinder three I think it was uh, there was an issue and uh, it was causing the lumpy idle and all that stuff. They're cool, let's, let's rebuild the car. So, rebuild the engine. I had issues, uh, like pretty soon after the rebuild, I had issues with uh, excessive smoke. Uh, and I, I didn't even come into boost, I would just tap the accelerator and have a, a lot of 
of smoke coming out. It's like white grayish smoke, uh, more on the white side. And it, it, it turns out that this was uh, one of the rings that they didn't seat properly. And I was still doing my run-in and all that stuff. And I was actually babying the car a little bit too much from what he said. He said I should have driven it harder, a lot harder. Uh, and uh, I should have not waited so long before driving it. So I would leave it for extended periods like I've done with all my other cars and the car just wasn't happy so the one ring didn't seat pulled everything else it was an OEM build like literally everything OEM anyway just ripped it apart and we've gone fully forged now um, pistons rings rods are from a STR from EJ207 uh, STR crank from EJ207 there's, there's a couple other bits and bobs I forget now and I haven't been in front of a camera for a very long time so I'm kind of like spitballing here I just decided today out of the blue pick up the cameras let's do it put them on charges get in the car let's go for a drive I've been driving this thing like almost every second day at least sometimes I drive it every other day every day uh, so it's going well it's super smooth as you guys can see it's almost up to temp I've been enjoying this car, I've been getting a lot of seat time in the car. I've driven this car probably more than I have any of my other cars combined in like a five year period. So really, really, really enjoying this. I've been able to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, so, I've been tuning it myself. I've been learning how to tune, fueling, knock, all that stuff. I've got all the toys that I'm doing everything with. And, and things have been going really well with the tuning. Obviously stock map on these they're not good at all they oh sorry let me backtrack they are great for a stock STI of this era now if you're going to throw this on a GCA WRX like this the heads are incredibly different between the STI and this if you want to go with the aggressive timing, the advanced timing that's currently on the, the stock map, you're going to do yourself in, you're going to probably pop an engine or something. Um, so that was something, I had to retard the timing quite substantially. I did so and it's a lot happier. I've, I've made it quite rich and yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got all the toys. I've got my, my AEM wideband and, and all that jazz and um, actually I just need to put the gauge in. I think I already said that. But I've been running things loose, connected to the Apexy, and just having fun because I'm not filming, I'm not editing. I've, I've had a lot more time to actually learn and how to do things properly. And the car's getting there. The other big thing that has happened, and I'll see if I can grab a picture or something, maybe throw it up on the screen. But the car is fully resprayed now. When I got it, it, was, it had flaky paint, it had massive rust issues. Uh, rust issues up here and uh, across this, I don't know what you call this thing. I've got new beading that's been been put on, uh, new clips, new... Man, I've, I've gone like over and above and pretty stoked. Oh, by the way, the, the beach and the sea is literally right next to me on my left. This is what they call the Durban Golden Mile and it's it's really cool uh, we we haven't been here in a while especially since covid and all that stuff so um, we, we do little drive bars and all that stuff through here but it, it was really pretty i mean if you just have to take a left like over here where where this guy's coming out of you can park here your family and yourself can enjoy this and walk around do bike riding and all that jazz so very cool um, we started to come into durban central that's a town I don't really go in there unless there's something I really need, uh, like picking up the wheels that I've scrapped for the car. I had to go to Durban Central and then up. Um, other than that, I'm just very rarely come. But yeah, you can see the seat and all that. So this has now gone from like car into travel. My bad. Uh, what was I saying? Respray. The car's been fully resprayed. It looks awesome. I haven't had it cut and polished yet, and it got resprayed about a month ago. I'm getting there slowly uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on at the moment uh, that I'm just trying to sort out for my immigration and you know, things around the house and all that stuff keeps keep getting sick there's been a lot of flu stuff going around 
Anyway, we've calmed down a lot. I went out for dinner the other day. Uh, I haven't been out to a restaurant since 2020. Uh, so I was pretty chuffed with myself. I think chuffed might be a South African word. I was pretty proud of myself getting out there. Okay, let's head back and I'll tap the boost a little bit here and there. Uh, I forgot to throw some fuel in yesterday. So I can't go too crazy. Like I said, this was properly impromptu, but listen to the sound of this thing. It's stock, stock airbox. It's got that whistle, it's got oh. engine bay, like I said, is almost stock. I threw the stock dump valve. If you open the bonnet and you take a look, it looks like this is a stock car. Okay, if you really know what you're looking for, you'll see it's not a TDO4, it's a VF35. But other than that, it looks the part, it looks neat. I'm, I'm really stoked with it. When I get to wherever I'm going, we can stop playing. When I bought this car, I think I mentioned it in, in November, I said I want to get a car and I get it back to almost stock and then like as a base and then I'll go crazy and I'll do my thing. And that's what we'll do. Wow, now I'm stuck behind this dude. I'm gonna crack the windows open a little, little bit. Okay, that's pretty damn windy. I just wanted you guys to hear that little whistle. So now that I've I've pretty much uh, completed this car, uh, well, sort of. I mean, like what's left? I, I got to clean up the engine bay a little bit because it's got all all the white powder from when they were sanding down the the car and getting it prepped for respray. Uh, they didn't exactly clean the engine bay because yeah, uh, well, where the hood scoopers it got dirty. So intercooler and then the vents. Uh, on the side, so it got dirty there. It's not dirty anywhere else. I need to clean it up a little bit. It's not even a project. And then the only other thing I need to do is throw that big Apexy back box on the car. And I'm going to put a cat on, unfortunately. And when the cat is on, well, the car's going to need a little bit of power and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm throwing the cat on for a good reason. And the reason for the cat is that I don't know the emissions laws and that sort of stuff so I just want to be prepared you know technically we're supposed to have them here no one cares no one does anything about it we never have emissions checks and all that jazz so you kind of just do whatever you want in South Africa come on there's literally no cars I can't even see what's in front. 
kind of see my face for a little bit, uh, hear my annoying voice while I'm driving around. Got to hear the Subaru, you guys got to hear exactly what's getting done. Okay, let's uh, slow down a little bit here. Take it at just under four grand in third. Pause around. Why are you turning? Why are you turning? My injector duty cycle is like 78, 81. I got a little bit of room to play. They are stock injectors, I, I do need bigger ones. Let me tap it up here a little bit. I do have a little bit of a boost spark. Turn it down one notch, it should have sorted out. Let's go. That's under 5k RPM. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Let's switch this bad boy off. That's my GC8. Um, I'm kind of glad to be doing this again. Okay. I'm kind of glad to be doing this again, I'll be honest. This is weird to say, I kind of missed you guys. I owe a lot of people replies on my previous video. Sorry for not replying. Anyway, let me know what you guys want to see content wise. I'll try and make a plan, I'll try to do it. I just realized I got bed head. <laughs> cool thanks so much for watching see you all in the next one peace